Hey, it's Tim here. 22.3 is out. We're getting stuck in straight away with Data Guide. Now, Data Guide is a new feature that aims to help users use dashboards. It's, it's really quite a simple tool. So let me just move my face over here to the left-hand side. And you can see that up here, right at the top, is a new button with Data Guide. Now, depending on where you're looking at this, I've either seen a binoculars or a road sign. I think I'm seeing a road sign here because I'm using a, a pre-release version of the next version, 22.4. That's what the Tableau developer account runs on. So that's why I'm seeing a road sign. So they might have changed this icon for future versions, but nonetheless, you should see a binoculars or a road sign here at the top. Now, when I click on that, you'll see that it opens up a pane here on the right-hand side. And the really cool thing about this is it starts to give you some sort of guide about this dashboard. Now, there are two things to bear in mind with this uh, feature is that it works at different levels of detail. So when you click on it for the first time, it works at the dashboard level. In fact, here it's not working at the dashboard level. It's working at the view level. Let me just click away from that. You can see here that it's actually now on the dashboard level. When you come to the dashboard, it tells you who's published it, some details. I wrote this description as a little sort of, as a little story for dashboard developers around the world. This is pretty much what we have to do. Um, I've got a couple of links here. I'll talk a bit more about this shortly. Uh, you've got the data in this dashboard, which is a basically a drop down, which showing you all the fields in the dashboard. Then you've got the outliers. Essentially, Tableau is using some of the smarts behind explained data to bring out the outliers in the dashboard. And if I click here, show more, it shows me all of those uh, outliers there. So at a dashboard level, this is what's going on. The nice thing is that when I then click on any particular visualization, it goes on to what's called the view level. So if I go ahead and click on this map, I'll move myself back over here, then you'll see that this whole view uh, starts to change to talk about the specific view that you've selected. So I've selected a map and you can see that if I move my face up here, the um, mapping link here is now specific to this visualization. So the description and the links can be specific to the dashboard and the visualization. This is going to be useful when you're trying to explain to someone how a particular calculation is done, or maybe there's some additional context in an intranet or in another place on, online that you want to link people to. You can do that at the visualization level, and that's super useful. The other thing to bear in mind is that it also shows you applied filters. Now, at the moment, this is just showing you a list. It's not sort of doing any sort of highlighting. What I would really love this feature to do is to actually show you where the filters are. And if there's any actions, show you where those actions are being activated. If, I'm, if I go ahead and let's say click on a particular country, you can see here that an action has been applied, but it's not immediately obvious that the action is applied. So I'd love to see this also start to support not just filters, but actions on the dashboard and even some hints as to how those actions work. I'm sure that's in the pipeline somewhere. So uh, we'll hopefully see that in the future. Um, once you've gone down to the uh, filters level, you then start to see the data in this visualization. But because I'm clicked on the map, I'm only getting a list of fields in the map. If I click back out, I get a list of fields across the entire dashboard. You can see everything that's being used. So this is really, really nice. Um, and it brings a, a lot more clarity, hopefully, to what's going on inside of a dashboard. Now, when I click on these, I was hoping to see a bit more information. And I think this might be in, uh, in, in, in a way to avoid clashing with another capability. If I just put my face here on the left hand side, uh, you can see here on the left hand side is the data details view. And this tells you about the data set itself. So uh, these two features could almost sort of clash in a way because in essence, they're almost doing the same thing. And when you click on data details and you do actually get more information about the fields themselves. And then you can obviously go and read a description. And if you select view more, it actually throws you out to a, I believe a metadata perspective of this. So I think this is only because I have the data management add-on applied on my developer account that I'm seeing this capability. So it's it's sort of a bit confusing here that the these two things almost doing the same thing and with a data guide you kind of you kind of stop short with just a list of the fields without any of the good stuff to kind of tell you what the fields are and so on and so forth. So um it's super super important now as a user as an author to start naming your filters because uh, those filters are going to come up in earnest. If I just click on this view again, you can see that the applied filters, if you just dropping in filters and you've got lots of hidden filters and you know, you're not really paying attention to what's going on, they're going to end up in the supplied filters list. And that's going to cause you maybe some clarity issues when users are using your dashboard. Now, 
The other thing that's exciting about Data Guide is it really sort of holds two new features. The first one is called Explanations. Now this hosts a couple of features which we're kind of used to. The first one is Explanations, which is sort of similar to Explain Data. And when we click on a particular explanation here, it gives us a little bit of context. It tells us about Finland at Usima. I don't know if I've said that right. <laughs> Let me know in the comments. Um, but nonetheless, uh, you get a bit more of a breakdown and this is very similar to what we've seen there. So very similar to explain data, but this is working inside of this data guide capability. And that's super cool. The other thing that we can't see here yet, because this is a dashboard that's only just been published and this feature has only been live for a day, is something called data change radar. Now, what this feature does is it essentially takes a snapshot of what's going on inside of your dashboard and shows you changes over time. So in order to show you that, I'm going to have to leave a workbook running with a data set that changes daily so we can see that happen over time. So maybe in a week's time, check back on the channel and you'll see a video digging into that feature in more detail. But nonetheless, this is a really, really nice capability. Now, the other thing I just want to show you is what happens when you click on a mark. We've done the dashboard level. So if I click out of everything here, let's just go back all the way back. This is the dashboard level. You can see a general overview of the whole dashboard. You click on a view, you get a view level breakdown of what's going on. And the very last level of detail is a mark level. So when you click on a data point, you get a very specific uh, bit of information about that here in the data guide as well. So it is very, very powerful. It's always trying to help users understand what's going on. And I think this is a very nice addition. You can actually see this starting to layer in a couple of other amazing capabilities in the future, especially if you start to think of things like data dictionaries being applied into Tableau and some of that sweet stuff. So um, I just hope that all of that doesn't end up living behind the data management add-on. I hope we get more of it just here as a base capability inside of the product. Now, this is what it looks like as a viewer. What does it look like as an author? So if I just switch over to desktop, you can see this is the actual dashboard that I published up. I use Superstore just as a very basic way to show you something familiar that you yourself can try. So when you're an author, uh, you can see here, I do see the binoculars icon here on the top right hand side. This is what you've actually got to click to see this view. So if I just uh, click on that, you'll see it disappears. And if I go ahead and click on the binoculars, it comes back. Back. When it comes back, you see the overview uh, description. So here you can see the dashboard details. This is sort of confusing because when you publish a workbook, let's just go here to the publish option. Um, the dashboard description almost to me feels like the description you'd also write when you publish. So it would be great to have these two things sort of connected so that this sort of makes sense because it's weird that you can write different description in these two places. So that would be something nice to see, maybe some sort of unity between these two things. Um, and the second thing is that when you, um, when you start to sort of fill this information in, you've got the ability to add links. Now, I actually spent a bit of time trying to see what the limit was. I got bored. Um, the, the long story short, you can add more links than you'll ever need, in my opinion. But to add a link, you just select add link, you give it a label, and then you just paste the URL and you're off to the races. Now, what I think this is really good for is not only linking to useful guides, but also you could potentially link to documentation. If this documentation is talking about how the dashboard works and how it's built and maybe a change log, you could add that here. So you could, for example, just add a link that says uh, change log. And then you could uh, send go off to like a Google Doc or something like that. And you could, I'm just going to put a hashtag in this particular uh, case just to, oh, I can't do that. I just need to do that. No, it won't let me do that. So google.com, let's just put that in. No, it has to have HTTP, I think, HTTP. Uh, hey, uh, I can't even spell here. <laughs> HTTP. There we go. It has to have a proper URL for it to work. It doesn't let you do anything funny so you can manipulate Tableau Server or Tableau Cloud with URLs. Um, so there you go. You can add something like a changelog into this. So you can have a guide, a changelog, and maybe a link out to an owner or a department or something else, or even a video. And that's what's going to be really nice about this. You could have, uh, let's say, a user uh, instructional video. Um, and I wonder what else you could add to this. I've, I've even thought of what if you could add like a meeting uh, request in here. Maybe there's a there's a session that runs that shows people how to use this, and you could add that in just before uh, you know the session runs. And then once the session's run, you go in, update it, take the link out. You could add so many interesting things in here that are really sort of good. Anyway, once you've done that, once you've added dashboard level detail, you can then click on a, a individual chart and then go about adding that detail again for each and every every one of these. You can see here on the map, 
I've actually already added a mapping link already. So that's a really um, nice capability. Now, this feels like a lot of work and I can already see authors going, oh, yet another thing to do. But I think done with some good taste, this can be very, very useful. And I think organizations will definitely need to align on best practice on how it's going to be used within a company because users are going to need to expect some sort of consistency at the end of this. Now, the other issue with this is that obviously if you're using Tableau Cloud, it's just enabled. And if you're using Tableau Server and you've just upgraded and you're using this feature, then it will just come. So this feature is available pretty much already for everyone. And one thing I've been, uh, been asked is, hey, can this feature be switched off across the whole server, across the whole site? It doesn't look like that's been enabled. If I go back to the uh, dashboard level instructions, you can see there I actually linked to how the guide works. And um, so I click on that and it takes us to the instructions. I actually think the instructions for this are super clear and are really well done. I'll link them in the description below. But nonetheless, if I just keep going down here, you can see that the only option to really control this is at a user level. So let's go down here and you can control the visibility of this in your account settings in the settings tab. So let me show you how that works. If I just go back to my uh, dashboard here, I'll go back to my little icon here at the top left. Your account settings is the third option down. Go ahead to that and in here you get a bunch of different settings and what you want to do, I never scroll this list because I never know where everything is. So what I do instead is I click in a white space, I do Command F or Control F on Windows and I just type the thing I'm looking for. This time I've written guide and you can see that it immediately finds the section that I'm looking for. And then I can just say, hey, close data guide by default and that's the only option you've sort of got. Data guide is displayed by default. The first time that a worksheet is open, you can close that, save that. Now, I was hoping to find a setting to switch it off entirely, but there doesn't seem to be that setting. I, I can't I can't sort of find any other place to do it. If I go back to the instructions, you can see here that to choose whether you want data guide to be open by default, that's the only setting you have. You don't really have the ability to switch off the feature entirely. So um, that will be an interesting one. Our server admins tend to like a little bit of control and they hate it when users are uh, sort of forced into a capability. The other thing is if authors haven't sort of gone about updating these, then users will click on this and basically find nothing. But I think the feature degrades very gracefully. If I just go back here and I just uh, move this back to the left hand side, I think the feature degrades gracefully because um, Let's say you go to it for the first time and it shows up and this is what you see. And OK, here I've got a bit of the description. Well, if you don't have a description, it's just going to look like that. It's not going to sort of scare anyone. It's not going to hurt anyone. I still think this is useful to see these fields. If you're naming your fields badly, then unfortunately, that's now going to be visible up front and center with everyone. Um, and the detected outliers, you might not like this, but I think look, we have to get to a point where at some point Tableau has to help users use dashboards better. And um, if if the suggestion is that, look, this, this information isn't true, well, um, I think some of this can possibly be controlled by the way explained data works. So something I haven't tested yet is if I go into explain data, enable that, and restrict the fields upon which that is working, does that have an impact on this? Because it has a very similar interface and I'm not entirely sure if the two are linked. So that'll be something I'll need to have a test. Um, if I go down to the very uh, bottom, you can see that it tells me 15 of 35 fields analyzed. And if I click on those fields, you can see what those fields are. So I'm wondering if you disable explain data, does this feature work? In fact, let me try that and I'll get back to you in a, in a second. Let's just try that. So let's go back out. Detect outliers, no. So even if you disable explain data, that's not going to work. It's still going to be able to do the analysis. Uh, I have disabled it site wide. So just to show you that I've done that setting uh, here, I'll go to settings and um, if I click on that and I just do my trick again and I search for explain, you can see that explain data is enabled. Uh, disabled, sorry, uh, on this particular dashboard. So uh, it's it's sort of it's sort of not ideal, really, that you can't really uh, control that. So in a way, um, you could argue that sort of Tableau have snuck the feature back in <laughs> through another through another gateway, um, if 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 you kind of see it that way. So. Maybe there's something I'm not understanding. Maybe there's more uh, to this feature. Um, so what I'll do is I'll put something in the comments if I find out any additional information uh, beyond when I'm publishing this video. It's been really disappointing that we haven't had the preview uh, out uh, early enough with these features in it to actually be able to try it. So the world has only had these features for a day, so we haven't had as much time to interrogate them as it would do. But 
If you've got any questions, uh, leave them in the comments below and I'll get to them as soon as I can. Um, if you've liked the video, be sure to hit like, uh, subscribe if you want to uh, do that as well. That really helps me out and I'll catch you in the next video. Now this uses a capability that we're kind of used to uh, in the, um, oh, what is it called? It's completely escaped me. <clears throat>